guys, welcome to Monday's Threads. My name is Monday and I am the founder of the Love It, Sew It, Wear It movement where I encourage you to sew and wear more of the things that you love. On today's tutorial, we will be making an easy midi length dress and we will be using the pattern pieces that we drafted from our t-shirt. So I have a, a video on that. So if you haven't watched that, please go ahead and watch that so that you can uh, take part and I can show you how to make a dress out of those pattern pieces. So this dress, I'm trying to push it for Easter, but it's a great spring, uh, spring dress to have in your wardrobe or a, just a great dress to have any, for any occasion, any time in the year. Okay, so let's get into the video. Okay, so for this project, you will need your basic sewing material. So that's either scissors, rotary cutter, um, your pins or fabric weights, a tape measure to figure out how long or short you want your uh, skirt part to be. You will definitely need your pattern pieces that we drafted from the previous video that I showed where you can draft uh, pattern pieces, basic pattern pieces from a t-shirt. So you should have the peplum um, part which is going to be our skirt part and the most important important part is that we want our waist measurement and we will make this part as long or as short as we want it. Um, I will not be doing a sleeve. I want this dress to be a sleeveless dress so this we will be putting to the side but if you do want to make um, make your dress with sleeves you can go ahead and use that that's uh, the sleeve pattern piece your front bodice pattern piece and the back bodice pattern piece in addition to that you will definitely need some fabric so this is the fabric that I will be using it is definitely a knit uh, stretch fabric because this pattern was drafted for um, stretchy fabric so we will not be using a woven fabric so this is a stretch fabric that I got from Joann's I just thought it was so pretty and bright and springy and so I was like okay I need to make something um, cute <laughs> or pretty out of it so it is a stretch fabric it is four-way stretch um, I can't remember what the description was on the uh, on the bolt in Joann's, but it does feel like a ponty knit. And I think it was. I think it was like a floral ponty. So it feels like a ponty knit. It is between light to medium weight. So um, if you're looking for fabric, that's what I would suggest you go for. Uh, I would say medium. Go for medium weight stretch um, fabric and I think this print is exclusive to Joann's so you can only find it in Joann's unless I don't know you've seen it somewhere else somewhere else but um, I will probably maybe add a few links um, uh, to uh, fabric suggestions that you can use but this is definitely a, a ponty it does feel like a ponty knit okay and I got three yards of this I don't know if I'm gonna use the whole three yards but we will see so yes you want at least three yards for your project okay so let's get to cutting Okay, okay, so for the peplum part, I was really hoping that this dress could be um, midi length. So for me, midi length is about 29 
um, inches so it hit that's where it hits from my waist to um, the midsection of my leg but I noticed that my fabric might not be long enough to get me to midi length so here's our pattern with the waist measurement that was calculated and that was cut out okay so placed on the fold Actually, I have my fold writings there so placing the pattern there I know that we're gonna cut out the waist part here but from here to the end of the fabric that measures 25 inches and that hits my knee so for a full circle skirt this is going to hit uh, my knee and I, I don't know I don't know if I really want to do that so the length actually the width of this fabric measures 60 60 inches and I have about two yards so just enough to make yeah kind of like a skirt that hits my knee my issue with a circle skirt that hits the knee is that when the wind blows everything shows because it's a circle skirt it flares up and I don't think I want I want that so I'm gonna do a switch up on you guys for now and instead of making a full circle skirt I am going to make a half circle skirt so that I have enough length um, or the length that I want and not the fullness that will make me uncomfortable wearing it so I will quickly create a pattern for my half circle skirt because we have one for a full circle skirt so I went ahead and measured my waist uh, for a half circle skirt on the By Hand London Circle Skirt app. So my measurement, just put that away, my measurement came to about nine and a half. So I'll just do an outline for that. Since I have my other template, I'll just use that to connect the dots or connect the lines. So this is the waist, 9.5 for full, actually half, circle skirt. So I'll quickly cut that out. just draw an arrow to let me know I should decide how long how long I want my skirt to be and again I have to remind myself that this is cut on fold and I just need to cut out one So this is what I will be using for my um, half circle skirt and it will give me the length that I want but not the flare of the original full circle skirt. So go ahead and place your pattern, whichever pattern piece you are using. If you're using the one for the half circle skirt, 
you will just need one cutout. So I have placed mine here and I'm going to measure out um, the full length and then I will sew that. If you're doing the full circle skirt, go ahead and measure out your pieces. Make sure you have enough fabric for, to cut out two of these to get your full cir circle skirt effect. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so once you cut out your pieces, you should have front bodice, back bodice, and of course your circle skirt pieces. So if you're doing a half circle skirt, you will need just one of these cut out to your waist measurement. If you're doing a full circle skirt, you will need two of these cut out to your waist measurement. So I just went ahead and kind of like uh, uh, saw how the pieces fit together. So I put this like against my uh, front bodice and back bodice and um, just to see how it, how it was gonna fit. For the skirt, I mean, I like the way it fit and I like the length. But I think I am going to do a front split. So where I connect the skirt here, this is going to be on the side of my leg. And I will just sew it down probably just past uh, mid thigh and leave this open as a split. Just I don't know, just something, <laughs> something cute. So go ahead, pin your pieces. Pin your pieces together. Right sides facing each other. So pin those, you can go ahead and sew those down and then I'll come back and show you the next part. Make sure you pin your skirt pieces as well. So I will sew mine down and probably end there. And then I will sew down my split so that I have that split effect. So go ahead and sew down those pieces and then we'll come back and go to the next step. Once you are done sewing, your pieces should be looking like this, okay? So if you have a serger, you can go ahead and serge the armholes and the neck, just like I did. I don't think you can see it that well because of the white thread that I used. And you can go ahead and do that on the inside. I just um, went ahead and serged my sides as well. Okay. 
So I did that. I did that for my skirt part as well. So for the skirt, here we go. This is what the skirt looks like. So I sewed that part there and this is how I did it. So I just surged the ends and then just went ahead and did a straight stitch to close that up because I was going to be leaving the split. Remember the, the split that I said I would leave out? So I did that and I just folded, folded it down and then straight stitched the split and all around so I get that kind of effect. So that's what that looks like. Okay, so go ahead and pin your bodice to your skirt. And just make sure that if you are doing the side split, that that corresponds with um, the side of your bodice. Okay, so I'll just try and align that like that. Okay, now go ahead and pin so that I know where it is. Okay, and then you can pin all the way around. And I'll probably pin the sides too just so I have like a guide. And just a quick note, if you find that your bodice seems slightly larger than your skirt, don't worry, just go ahead and take it in. Take it in on the sides like I did. So this was where I originally surged and I noticed that my skirt was slightly um, smaller than the top. So I just went ahead, uh, went ahead and took in the sides. And so now I think I'm good. So you can do that too. If your skirt is bigger, you can go ahead and take your skirt in. So for me, this is where I would take it in on the split. So take it in so that it kind of aligns with your, with your top. That's like, it's not life-threatening. It's not the end of the world. That's an easy fix. Okay, so once you've pinned down your skirt and your bodice, you can go ahead and sew around. For this, you will be sewing with a zigzag stitch because this is stretch fabric and we don't want our stitches to be popping out and we want like the flexibility to still be there. So go ahead and use a zigzag stitch all around your um, waist area. Okay, so once you do that, you can also go ahead and just quickly hem the bottom of your skirt. You can use a, a straight stitch for that, or if you have a twin needle and you want it to look um, nice and clean and professional, you can use that, but I would just go ahead, fold that, and sew it down with a straight stitch. Okay, so once we do that, I'll come back and show you the next steps. Okay, so I have attached my bodice to my skirt and I used a zigzag stitch just to give it that flexibility to stretch. If you do have a serger, you can go ahead and just close or clean those edges up. If you don't, you can use pinking shears. Um, it's up to you. Uh, like I said, go ahead and hem the bottom of the the skirt. So the next step is just finishing off our armholes and the neck. 
So what I'm going to do is just, you can go ahead and pin, fold, fold this over and pin it. And then you can sew it down either using a zigzag stitch, but I prefer a twin needle. Okay. So we don't need to add any facing or anything like that because this is stretch and I feel, yeah, just to make things easy, all you need to do is um, fold it, pin it down and sew it down with your twi uh, twin needle. Now, I know we've used a twin ne needle for several projects uh, in several of my tutorials. Please let me know in the comments if that is something that you still struggle with. And then maybe I can do like a short video showing you how to um, use a twin needle. But it's definitely something that you need to have if you will be working with knit or stretchy fabrics just so your finishes are clean and they give you that stretch flexibility so let me know in the comments if that's something that you'd like to see in the future so go ahead and do that for both armholes and your neck hole so this is what that should look like. So do that for the other um, armhole, the other armhole, and then go ahead and sew that down. And that will be pretty much um, the dress. So I will come back and just show you how the dress fits. Oh, I just wanted to quickly come back here and show you um, so you don't want to pin, <laughs> pin your collar that way if you're using a twin needle because you'll be sewing on the outside. So I went ahead and put my pins on the outside because this is where I am sewing and not on the inside. So that's just a note that was a mistake on my part. So um, yeah, go ahead and take off those needles if that's what you did and put them on the outside so that you can take them off when you're sewing on the outside, okay? Hey guys, so that is the end of the tutorial. At the end of all your sewing, your dress should be looking like this. Okay, so if you have any questions, please leave those in the comments and I will be sure to get back to you. Um, make sure that if you do make one of these makes that you hashtag me at love it, sew it, wear it, or you can actually tag me on Instagram at Mondays underscore threads or on Facebook at Mondays threads. So I will be excited to see your makes and I just want to celebrate and just showcase all the work that you have done. All right, so be sure to like, subscribe and share and I will see you in the next video.